It's time to start talking about inventory. And we're going to talk about vendors as well. Very important to the business, you know, moving stock in and out of the company. So let's actually go to options. We'll go to administrative, and you can see that all those kinds of maintenance are going to be right here. So let's actually talk about the funnel, okay? You're going to have categories, and then you're going to have departments within those categories, and then items within those departments. So as you choose where to place all those things, just be cognizant that that's the actual funnel. Now, the departments can definitely account for quite a lot, and this retail, any vertical that you have, departments are going to be a major portion of that. Categories aren't going to be that big, and that's why you don't see that on this screen. So let's go to departments. And you can see here, we've got the department maintenance screen, and you can see all the categories. Right now, we've just got none, but if you want to create a new category, just go to category maintenance, and you can see that I've only got two categories there. We've got food, and we've got none. So if you want to add one, or you want to update it, um, it, very easy to do. Same things that have been repetitive throughout the system. All right, now with departments, you're going to select your category. If it's going to be a regular, a rental, or an employee portion of the department, and then you're going to choose your department description. Now, you can assign IDs as well, so we're just going to start with this initial department as 01, and we're going to call it liquor. Now, if you want to look up other departments, you just press the look up button, and you see that we have all of them right here. So, you can pick other departments, and we can edit those, etc. But let's go back to the liquor department. The thing that's great about this is you can actually assign specific options, other receipt notes within the department. So any item that is sold out of that department, you can see that there are receipt notes. And then we can print department notes on the receipt, require a permission for a sale of that department. So, um, you know, things like uh, checking IDs, et cetera. And then require serial number and then bar tax inclusive, which means that the bar tax is going to be included in this department. Okay? So then we have item cost percentage and square footage. Those are great options. Uh, I don't use them a lot, but they're definitely there. So we're pretty much, we've pretty much covered department maintenance. And uh, if you want to save your changes or add a department, definitely these are the two places to do it. So let's get out of here. Now let's actually go to uh, vendor maintenance. I know it's going to seem a little out of place, but I just wanted you to see this right here, vendor maintenance. And you can see right here that we've already, it's just going to populate on the first alphabetized one. And you can see we've assigned a vendor number. And you can also see that with respect to the vendor numbers, that they all can be right here. So all of your vendors can have a number assigned right there. You can do it by telephone number or whatever you'd like. Or if they have a number, you can use that. The other thing that's great is uh, that, that you can actually have commissions assigned, a minimum order assigned. Um, the, the terms of your invoicing, if it's going to be net 30, 60, or 90, or due on receipt, etc., that will give you a great reminder. The other thing is how the POs, the purchase orders, are going to be delivered, print, fax, or email. Their name right here, if it's going to be an individual, definitely a social security number or tax ID here. Any rental rates that you're actually going to um, use from them. And then we have just the address and all these different kinds of things. But you can see that this is basically just record keeping for your vendors. Now, in order to create them, we're going to show you within items how to actually place vendors as the preferred vendor of accessing that specific item. Let's go there now.